What is going on guys? This is Crozen and welcome back to another Elden Ring DLC build. This time we are going to take a look at the other hand-to-hand -hand art being the Dry Leaf Arts in a build that I call the Fire Blast build because it's centered around using Palm Blast on a pure faith build. So we are going to have this thing flame art infused and this thing can do so much damage in PvE and it can one shot players in PvP as well getting over 1600 damage. And yeah, this thing is just amazing. You could also be a very good caster because you do have a high faith investment with this build. So it's super versatile. So let's take a look at the build. So looking at my stats over on the right, we are level 150. And the main idea behind the stat distribution was just to try to pump as much faith as I could on the Vagabond class. And that was 76 faith while still keeping 60 vigor, 19 mind, and 31 endurance. If you truly wanted to min and max this to the extreme, you could go for the profit class here because they do have lower strength and dexterity numbers. So you could save a couple of points there and go into mind or more faith. Um, but it's really only a few points. It's not that big of a difference. So as far as the dry leaf arts, it scales really well with flame art until you get to about 50 faith. And then at that point, um, the numbers really start to drop off per level. Um, but that doesn't mean you should stop there, especially on a weapon like this, because strength and dexterity aren't really going to pump up the attack power at all. So you might as well just pump up your faith. That way you could also cast some incantations and get some really good damage off of them. So that's kind of what I did here. Also, we got a backup dagger here for kick, um, parry shield, and then I used the fire knight seal because I used the mesmer flame incantations mostly with this build, uh, mainly just fire serpent and mesmer's orb. So I just stuck with this one. And then this is the fashion that I got going on here. Um, if you guys watch my Dane's footwork build, you'll know that you can actually increase the damage on your kicks if you go for something like the divine bird warrior greaves. And you could also go for jump attacks and, you know, go for one of those chest pieces that increases your jump attack. I stayed away from that with this build. It really isn't that necessary since we are going mostly for the Palm Blast. Now for the Talismans, the two that are super essential here are Shard of Alexander and Godfrey Icon. You kind of need to have those because that is really what's going to give you that one-shot potential. And then I also went for the Shattered Stone Talisman for the kick damage. And then Bull Ghost Talisman here for PvP. You could swap this one out in PvE though, um, go for anything that you want here. You could even go for the Wing Sword Insignia, as uh, this one will raise up your attack power with successive attacks pretty easily. So as far as the movesets, we're going to stick with the same moveset that uh, we basically did with the Dane's Footwork. So a lot of R2s, whether that's running R2s, jumping R2s, standing R2s. I still throw in some R1s in there because, you know, this one isn't really centered around kick damage. And then Palm Blast. You always want to charge this to the extreme because that is going to give you that one-shot potential. And the damage is just insane in both PvE and PvP. Um, you still could mix it up, though, and just go for a non-charge version in PvP. Um, that way you're a little bit less predictable because most people will just think, okay, I'm going to wait for this guy to charge this thing and then roll out of the way. Um, so you can mix it up from time to time in PvP, but that is really the build. Um, super fun, super versatile because you also can cast incantations. I mainly use Flame Grant Me Strength to start the fight, and then I could go out into uh, Fire Serpent or my Mesmer's Orb, and that's really all that I use with this build. But again, you could basically use whatever you want here. You do have enough of faith to use basically every incantation um, pretty effectively here. So that's all I have to say about the build. So let's do some invasions. So we got a pretty cool invasion spot here. Um, I wonder where this guy is at, though. He must have used that already, so I'm not sure why it put me up here. Let's go ahead and warp. Oh crap, we got a team of three. I wonder if I could uh, kill one of these guys. Let's see. Oh yes, that was awesome. Totally unexpected. That was pretty sweet. All right, let's run out of here. Let's use Mesmer's orb. Nice. That's the cool thing about this build is that you could really mix it up, do a bunch of things. I actually did not know that was a heal. I was like wondering what kind of spell that was. Please run in. 
Oh, it missed. Oh, never mind. Wow, that guy has like really bad lag. I would like to take Phantom Guy out if I can. I have a feeling he has like no health. Oh yeah, he has no health. I could definitely one-shot him. <laughs> Alright, let's go for Phantom Guy. Except Hosty is going to try his best to save him. I could already tell. Come on, Hosty. Oh, nice! Totally did not expect to get a double hit there. That was pretty cool. Alright. Hosty is a little bit tanky, though, I gotta admit. Let's go ahead and do that. Into that. Palm Blast. Oh, that was bad news for you. <laughs> I can't believe he tried to trade that. That was, like, not going to work out for him. Under no circumstance. So it looks like we got a team of two here. So let's go ahead and buff up. It would be so awesome if this Black Knight could come and help me and surprise the hell out of them from behind. Oh, but this guy sees them already. Alright, I'm gonna go for... I'm gonna go for Phantom if I can. Oh my god, he's a bleed build. Alright, let's get the shield out. Yeah, he wanted nothing to do with that. The bad part is that it's raining too, so... Um, I'm definitely at a disadvantage here with my build. Trade. Oh, that's bad news for you, smiley face. <laughs> Unfortunate it was the host, but uh, Phantom Guy kind of went over there and killed the Black Knight. Fun fight, though. So if you guys haven't noticed yet, I am using the Oil Physic. And the main reason is because it does increase your uh, damage by 20%, your fire damage whenever the enemy gets coated in oil. <laughs> And, of course, that was the host. Unfortunate. Um, so, yeah, just keep that in mind. I do have the oil physic on as well, and that's giving me a 20% boost towards my fire damage. So, we got the Dark Light Catacombs, and I thought that guy was going to rush into me, but he didn't. Um, it is pretty dark in here. Oh, we got a team of three again. Sweet. Let's go here. Um, I would like to get this going. And we might as well run out here. Boom! There we go. Can I get another one? Oh, that would have been sweet if I could have got him there. Oh, that was the host? What? Well, that sucks. <laughs> I killed the sorcerer, though. So I see we got the anvil hammer, and I guess this guy is a mage. Uh, oh my goodness, he has no health. I don't want to kill this guy yet. Let's go for this guy. Oh, it missed. That is crazy. Alright, I'm going to try to go inside the church just to LOS this mage. Ouch. Yeah, let's go this way. Alright, here we go. I missed this guy again. Wow. That is crazy. I know I should probably kill the mage, but I'm trying so hard to kill this phantom first. There we go. Oh, double kill. That was awesome. I don't think I ever got that before. A double kill with Palm Blast. So cool. So we got some rain going on here, which is going to suck for my build. Uh, this guy is super aggressive. I know he's going to trade. Ouch, he gave me a headshot. Ouch. Wow, okay. I need to, like, <laughs> get away from this guy for a second. Alright, here we go. Did I kill the host? Oh my goodness. 
I was definitely aiming for this guy who was just spamming the hell out of that thing. Which, I gotta try that weapon out, by the way. That thing seems like it is just so overpowered. <laughs> so it looks like we got some guys who are taunt or tongued. So let's go ahead and help out our invader friend here. Oh, this is bad news for you. Yeah, he's not going to run in on that. Um, I'll cover him this way. Nice. A free aim. <laughs> I'll take it. I will take it. So we got a Shadow Keep invasion. I do hear these guys, but I have no idea where they're at. So it looks like we got a team of three. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Last thing I want is uh, that shield hitting me like crazy. Right, let's go ahead and buff up. Doesn't look like they are planning on chasing me though. That is the bad part. Oh, that would have been sweet if I could have hit that guy from there. Alright, here they come. Alright, I'm going to heal. Please trade. Oh, it's bad news for you, Paladin Lockjaw. I did take a beating there, though. Worth it. Alright, see what we could do here. Uh, let's get out of there. Nice. I was going to say, that should have hit him. Alright, two down. Hey, don't kill my Fire Knight, buddy. Let's buff him up. Oh, he's running. I don't think so. <laughs> There's no way you make this out alive. Just saying. You got a Fire Knight... And a fire blast guy running after you. <laughs> uh, I kind of feel bad for this guy. Yeah, you had no chance, Prince Nazim. Sorry about that. <laughs> we got a Stone Coffin Fisher invasion. This is pretty sweet. I'm going to go ahead and buff up. And let's see what we can do here. I'm surprised he powered through that, honestly. <laughs> Alright, this guy is just going to be spam galore over here. This guy really needs to heal up, otherwise he's going to be dead. There we go. Let's go here. There we go. I was wondering. I'm like, man, I, I definitely got him that time. Unfortunately, it was the host, but yeah, this guy is just a pain with his dual great spears. So this is an interesting place to invade. Uh, we do got this guy on our side, though. Might as well utilize him. Let's go ahead and buff him up. All right, now this archer is on the ropes. Yep, there we go. <laughs> uh, man, these archers are so annoying. He's probably going to run back and go summon his friend. Yeah, that's probably what's going to happen here. All right. Let's do this. Yeah, he is not trading with me. That's the sad part. He probably got killed by this before. And he's like, yeah, I'm definitely not going to trade that. But we'll get it out of him. We will get it out of him. Yeah, do that move. I don't mind that move. Oh my goodness, the range. I thought that was definitely going to be a miss. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Palm Blast is amazing. It really is.
So I appreciate you guys watching till the end, and these are my stats over on the right. These are my weapons, this is my fashion, and these are the talismans that I used in PvP. So this is a super fun build, um, super versatile, and yeah, I had a lot of fun making this build. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this Fire Blast build, and you could go on and make this for your next build. And yeah, let me know what kind of weapons you want to see next, and I will see you in the next video.